business you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1361, recorded Saturday, April 14th, 2012. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Vast Conference, the ultimate in professionalism, clarity, and flexibility for your conference calls, all at a low price. For two Vast Conference calls free with no commitment, go to vastconference.com. Use the offer code GIZWIZ. And now, get ready for Dick. Shh. Maybe if we don't say anything, he won't. Oh, hi, Dick. How are you? Good to see Leo. you. Leo. I guess it's time for the daily, weekly thingamajig we do, that show. What was that show we used to do together? Oh, it used to be called This Week in Weekly Daily Gives with iPod Daily Security Now. D of comedy, Mr. <laughs> Daily Gizwiz himself, Dick D. Bartolo. Hello, sir. Hello. A friend of mine, uh, a, a fan of the show, Gerald, wrote last week and said, listen to the entire show, my favorite part was the bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he wasn't listening because the bear is silent. The bear is silent. The bear is silent. I'm super fine. How about you? I as well. Uh, I'm Good. enjoying, uh, you know, I'm going to be going to Vegas tomorrow. For oh, four NAB? Days for the National the NAB Association. Show. The NAB yeah. Show. The National so- Have you ever gone to that? Because it's kind of like CES for broadcasters. Uh, no, I used to go to, uh, we talked about it earlier, the one where everybody in in uh, that produces TV shows for syndication. Nat I P. thought it was the, Nat oh, that was the Nat National P. Association That's, of Television Programming tele- Executives, a.k.a. Yeah, to- the Sleazebag Show. <laughs> You've been to that one, yeah. I've been to the sleaze. Yeah, yeah, we were selling a pilot, the sleaze yeah. bag game show. <laughs> NASB, the National why, Association of Sleaze Bag <laughs> Programming Guys. You know what? We were at, we were behind the time. We were ahead of our time. We, that show would sell in about two months. <laughs> I minutes. know. It is On the now. title. We Can could you, sell it yes. on the title. Oh, sleaze bag? Is it reality? Is it cheap? We got it. We'll take we it. it. We're, we'll ta- we're in. We're, we're in. ordering 15 episodes. We're going to give you the green light. So um, today, is there a theme, an overarching concept? Uh, let me look. Uh, well, we could do it's, it's a couple travel gadgets and um, some new stuff. I got well. <laughs> travel's good because you know uh, I, I've just uh, booked a flight to Norway. <laughs> Really, but just bored to tears and didn't I, know what to I do. I said, I don't know. I'm bored to tears. I don't. I can't do another podcast. I'm out of here. I'm off to Norway. No, my yeah. friend. I have a very good friend, Mikkel Oland, uh, who uh, I met. I think I met him on Call for Help. He's a photographer, and he used to come on the show. And uh, he is a tr- he's an inveterate travel. He he, he brought me to Tasmania f- uh, for Ooh. the uh, yeah for the Lightroom Adventure in Australia. A couple that was a few years ago. Uh, Catherine Hall, who does our photo show, was one of the photographers. That's how I met her, in fact. And uh, he was talking to Catherine, and he said, well, you know, uh, every year there's this big photography festival in Norway called the Northern Light uh, Photo uh, uh, Festival, and uh, they would like you to go and do our photo show there. And I fought and I fought, but finally he talked me into it. So come a week from Sunday, I'm going to be flying to Norway, Catherine and I, and we'll be doing the show, Twit Photo, there. Uh, and the Northern Lights, so that's gonna be fun. Oh wow! But I, but that means I've got to get ready. In fact, I've already purchased that Conair uh, travel adapter that you recommended with the USB port. And the oh, okay. Well, let's see. I let's see. Um, I have something else you might want to purchase, and let me see the other thing. I need. Yeah, I, I have some good stuff. I need. You. I need stupid stuff to spend my money on. So why don't we get started <laughs> with the show? 
Okay. Well, the first two items are not stupid stuff. Oh. Um, Samsung. Cartoon invited- and moi. <laughs> How could I have been Samsung had a meeting. <clears throat> uh, you know, we had to sign uh, non disclosure agreements. And Leah, I, w- I thought, I know what this is. It's going to be the note for Verizon. It wasn't. Okay. Oh, I was, bummer. I, I, but no, it was okay because they said, oh, well, we have we have no news on that, but do you want to just borrow one for a week or so? Oh, and I, so I, I have a So note, what do you think? Have you, but, have you been playing with it? Uh, yeah, I love it. It's I love great. it a lot. I know. It's, that's, that's a giant screen that I use. It's a 5.3-inch yeah. uh, Android phone, and I love it. But Yeah, so, but what they introduced the two two new uh, gadgets, yeah. the Galaxy Tab 2. Yes, now, do I you knew have they t- were going to do that. I have a two, Tab 1. Yeah, okay, yeah. so the, the the tab two. Actually, I, had um, I had it, and some guy from Denmark was visiting, and he asked me what should I buy, and I said, "Don't buy anything here. Take this." Are you serious? Well, because I knew the two was coming out, and oh, uh, okay. I just thought I felt well, so, know, sorry for him because he has to live in Denmark. <laughs> oh. That I just no, they. You know what they. <laughs> They were so generous. They brought me candy from Denmark, Danish chocolates. They they gave me gifts. They lo, lo, so, I, and then he says, "Oh, I really need a tablet." So I gave it to him. I couldn't resist. Wow! Yeah. You realize next week this time there's going to be about nine hundred people in the audience with candy and suitcases and clothing. I know it's crazy, <laughs> crazy. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, foolish, so one of the two man. things they introduced was, uh, so now this is the 7-inch version of the uh, Galaxy Tab. See, I like so now, that. I actually like that size. I have a 7 as well. I like that size. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. So this one is Wi-Fi only. Did, did yours also have phone service? No, Wi-Fi only. Well, why Wi-Fi only. Yeah. Um, but the, the neat thing about this, Leo, the 7-inch model Wi-Fi is going to be 249 Wow. Yes. So this is going to make it really difficult for people who are thinking of, you know, buying the Nook or the Fire for one ninety nine. Right. For 50 bucks more, you can get a tablet that has the full Android market, uh, SD card slot, removable battery, um, three quarters of a pound. I think it's even lighter than the Nook, if I remember uh, what the people there were saying. Then the 10 inch is going to be $400. And the 10 inch is coming out the middle of May. And this pad is pre order now. And I think it is shipping uh, April 22nd. So this one is still uh, a week or so away. But that was one of their product introductions. The other was. If I just show you this quickly, tell me what you think this is. It looks like a <laughs> Galaxy Note. <laughs> well, <clears throat> now they've gone down the other way. So this is a smaller version, but it's not a Galaxy Note. I don't know. I had not even heard of these before. These are the Galaxy Players. Oh, yeah. So it's it's not a phone. No, it's not a but phone. it's like a uh, Galaxy S2 in a, in, it's just a player. Yeah. It, exactly. So it's uh, and the two models again, four point two inch model, which is uh, a WVGA screen, uh, which is what this uh, uh, this is the littlest one, the three point six inch model. Oh, wow, with that's an, small. It, wow. Yeah, that's so, iPhone. You know, size. The, uh, this is this is actually like the iPad Touch. This little guy, uh, USB two, a Bluetooth three point micro card slot. So it comes with eight gigabytes of memory, but you can put in up to a thirty-two wow. gigabyte card slot. Wow. Um, so that's oh, by directly the way, competing with a touch. How much is it? Absolutely, uh, <laughs> the little guy one forty-nine. Wow, boy, it's okay. pretty hard to recommend buying an iPod Touch when you can get this for a hundred bucks less. Yeah, one forty nine ninety nine. Wow. It's going to be exclusively at Best Buy. Actually, this is went on sale right away, and soon Samsung's it'll go. Samsung's killing it. No wonder Apple they, sued them. Yeah, now, yes, exactly. <laughs> they're going right after each other. What brings you a notch closer. I never had a Samsung tab. I didn't realize that their ten inch, their seven inch tab uses a thirty pin connector. Yes, it does. It's not the same one. That's the only it, frustrating thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and then the there's going to be a bigger Galaxy player, the 4.2. That's going to be uh, pre-ordered 
in on May, May 4th, and it's going to ship the following week and will be in stores on May 13th. So the bigger version is $200, the 4.2 inch model. So a wow, lot of very competitive. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very competitive. And also the new tabs have uh, built an IR blaster so that you can use it as a universal remote control also. So very, very aggressive pricing from <laughs> from Samsung. Wow. And also the, the new tab twos uh ship with ice cream, uh Android ice cream sandwich. Really? Huh. Yes. Yes. Wow. I, I'm impressed. I am a little disappointed they didn't do a Verizon Galaxy Note, but uh Yeah, you so know did what she, I, did she act like, oh yeah, stay tuned? You know, they they were they were you know, I think if I could have gotten one of them off the corner, I would have gotten more info. Right, but there right. were like four of them together, so no one wanted uh, to venture yeah, anything yeah, to say, say this anything. is not about that. Right, <laughs> this is right, about right. two other new products, which you'll be very excited about. There are a lot uh, of people frankly, very interested, I think, in uh, in that for a variety. Yeah. 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 But uh so now you can buy three point six and four point six uh, seven inch, ten inch, and the five inch. The note is five inch. So a lot of amazing stuff from Samsung. Well, that's a Galaxy uh, stuff from Samsung Galaxy stuff. Galaxy Player and Player. Galaxy Tab, Tab Two. And now we uh, we take you to Riverside Park. Yes, for the video of the week, it's self-explanatory. Dick DiBartolo and Mads made us try to end the Gizwiz with this week's weekly daily Gizwiz video. I'm here in Riverside Park, famous for its beautiful trees, the marina close by, and over there in the background, through that fence, is a very famous playground. Leo Laporte, Chief <laughs> Twit, That's my this playground. week in tech, That's my playground. played in that park at age three. <laughs> in the sandbox, he built an entire sand studio and broadcast to any kid it's who true. is listening. He's still broadcasting today, to 97 years listen. later. <laughs> so famous was he, they erected a plaque. That's it. No, not this plaque. I'm talking about that plaque. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it froze. The video froze. Continue. Oh, did it really? Yes. I thought you froze it. No, <laughs> it stopped here. Leo Laporte played over that way when he was three <laughs> years old. But I'm here for another reason, not just to play tri uh, pay tribute to Leo, which is in my contract. I have to do it every three months. But I'm here because this is something new from Scotty Vest, the Transformer. Oh, I love that this jacket. This transforms into a car. It's frozen again. YouTube is just not being nice to me today. Here we go. Let's start. Bar. And <laughs> no, the Transformer jacket is really neat. Step so on your you joke. I mean, let's let's rewind. Traveling car. And <laughs> <laughs> this transforms into a car. And <laughs> no, the Transformer jacket is really neat. So you are traveling the sun is coming out. You're getting warmer and warmer. You wish you didn't have on a heavy jacket. So what do you do? You just pull down on the sleeve, drop this off like that, take this like that, And then like a helicopter that, comes to pick it up. It up. <laughs> now there are 12 magnets back there. That's why you can actually take this off while you're still wearing the jacket. In here is a special very long pocket. I'm probably not. I'll, I'll stick it in. I was going to say, I'm not going to do a good job because I don't want to bore you with this. But it goes all the way back in. Oh, what are they doing over there? No, there's somebody busy at the YouTube factory. <laughs> and then zips closed. And you can put it back on again. So th this new jacket has 19 pockets. All the pockets are labeled. And even this pocket here, this, this is, is clever the too. eyeglass pocket. And this is very clever. The eyeglass pocket has a diagram of the jacket and where everything oh, goes. Oh, that's smart. But the diagram is a glass. It's a what? Okay. It's a what? The diagram is a, 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 a glass cleaning cloth. Oh, let's do that again. And where everything goes, but the diagram is a glass cleaner. So you can use it to clean your eyeglasses. So that's called the Transformer from Scotty Vest. $160. Comes in black, gray, and red. 
and it's available now. So Dickie Bartolo and Maz made us try to end the Gizwiz at Leo Laporte Park <laughs> in Riverside Park. The tribute, it's just overwhelming. <laughs> it's a piece I have of tears paper in my taped eyes. Taped really under the do. rock. I think it must be the dirt yeah, well, around here. <laughs> Bye. You know, I have that jacket, hey. and what you should show. If you could, could you just put it back on? Because what's cool, okay, so it's got magnets holding the sleeves magnets? on. Magnets? Magnets. Right. Holding <laughs> the sleeves on. And so you just pull it off. But what's really cool is you want to put it on. It's not complicated to put it back on. You just take that thing out. You put your arm through the sleeve and the arm through the other sleeve. And the magnets just snap into place and the whole thing's done. Uh Yes, and what's amazing is it's like the magnets know which magnet they know to, where go to go to. I don't know how he's do he does this. And you, you'll, you just hear it go click, magic. click, click, click. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the, the, the sleeves and the bar that goes across the back of the jacket is all one piece. Yes. So it is so easy to uh, put on and off, no Velcro, no zippers. It's really very clever. I'm quite a fan of it. I... Um uh, he sent me one as well, Scott did, and uh, I've been wearing it all. I went to the ball game yesterday, the baseball game, because especially in the Bay Area, uh, you always wear layers because the weather's so unpredictable. Sometimes, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it starts freezing and then it's warm. And so the idea of being able to kind of just turn a jacket into a vest is uh, is quite appealing. It's a, it's a yeah. great little jacket. I've been very happy about it. Yeah, and don't, I said don't 19... wear it if you have a pacemaker, though, because it will just pull your heart right oh, out of your that's body. True. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And it's 20 pockets. I, it's 19 additional pockets. It, 20 it, total. It does have t 20 total. One for the, uh, the sleeve. Who's counting? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and there's even, there's even a pocket for your iPad, so it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I had a toaster in one pocket uh -huh. and a portable. Yeah. Did you get the what? microwave pocket? Because that's a really The microwave one. pocket is yeah. great, but Leo... It won't take a, uh, one of the 1,500-watt microwaves. I was so disappointed. 750 so I had to get... maximum. I know. Yeah, that's it for the microwave. But it's great yeah. for hot the pockets. The blender's good. The blender's great. You want to make great. hot pockets, you take a hot pocket, you put it in your microwave pocket, and it comes in a cold pocket, comes out a hot pocket out of the pocket. It's yeah. really, really nice. <laughs> it's really good. And 50 gallons of gas for the boat. So you... I've, I'm set. <laughs> you know what's great? The whole jacket folds up into a pocket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you can stick it in the pocket of another jacket. Yeah, and then I bought the optional pocket to carry it in. It's good to have the carrying pocket for the pockets. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. It's good because that way you keep track of the pockets. Yeah. And then I bought the uh, electronic version of the uh, uh, where to put everything. What's that? But I lost it. It's yeah. in one of the it's, pockets. It's, yeah, it's exactly. That's kind of the problem. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that, is, that can be a problem. Uh, sometimes uh, I, I need a pen, and I can feel a pen. I know, you know I have a pen. there's one in there. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't know. Do I go in from the top up to the bottom? It's worse if you've got a phone ringing. Oh, that's it happens to me all the time. I, there's so many pockets. I put the phone in one of them. It's ringing. I can feel it. I have no how. I can't. Feel, so I'll just take the whole jacket and talk into the jacket. You just take. Well, that's that one of the nice too. thing about the magnets. You just pull the. You just take the whole thing and you just pull it apart and you got. You're holding a jacket to your ear, but at least you're on the phone. Yeah, that, that's good. That's yeah. good. You said, uh, let me put you uh, on hold. I have a call in my other pocket. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why multiple that's pockets. Many, yeah, many, many times. times. Many, many times. So that's it. What do they call that? Uh, the Transformer. Scotty Vest. Transformer. Transformer. Okay. Black, red, gray. I wish I, you know, I have the black and I wish I had the red. That would be You cool. know what? That is so funny. The same with me. Yeah. I thought, oh, oh. He doesn't, Scott, the, the guy, Scott Jordan, who runs Scott Evis, doesn't know how flamboyant you and I are. He thinks we're, you know, kind of calm, sedate business types, and we want to wear the business, you know, the business casual. But no, I want to look like Bozo the Clown. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. 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 I have a lot of his stuff, too. Do you have the Bozo jacket? <laughs> I don't. Does it have pockets oh, in the magazine? You know, it's great. Oh, oh. yeah. You know, Balls fall out of the pockets, and there are penguins and rabbits that fall. Oh, it's just the best. And it comes with a, uh, a pair of shoes that are like a size 19. You'd, you'd love it. I'll, oh, I'll get you. Wonderful. I'll have both of those send you some. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Now we have gadget number three. Now, gadget number three, I think you're also going to like. All because right. when you get to the seat on the airplane... Uh, out of your carry-on, you want to throw in the uh, seat pocket, everything you want to have with you. And so, you know, you need to have your iPad and you want your bottle of water and you want your phone and you want a pad and paper. Meanwhile, everybody's 
standing behind you going, you know, this is absolutely ridiculous. So this company, I'll turn around and get it here, came up with something called Amazing Case. So, Leah, this is like a carry version of a Scotty vest. And Does it if have you go pockets and magnets? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have ma magnets. No? But it, it's Kaboo Travel, C A B E A U Travel dot com. And there are a lot of neat features about this jacket. There's one pocket, and, and according to their uh, uh, press release, 85% of people who travel with an iPad Need also a take a take a computer. <laughs> take a computer. With really? Them. They take how many? 98% take a computer? They, they said 80, 85% of iPad users take who travel well. wow. also take computers. Well, actually, that's well. me. So, um, yeah. so are you eighty five percent of the I traveling? I am eighty five percent of the traveling. Oh. so okay. I see they have a lumpy pillow. Uh, oh no 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 no! We, you need amazing case. Ama the amazing case. Okay. And this oh this is another one of those things that hangs over the seat. It, yes, it can hang over the seat. It can. Oh, there. Okay. So there's amazing. case. I'm showing there's it on the video for those of you watching oh, on okay, video. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, it has a uh, a little pocket you pull out and it's iPad size so you can hang it over the snack tray and then you'll be looking directly into the iPad to watch movies or read ebooks. Uh -huh. You can also do the same in the back of the car so the kids can watch uh, videos while you travel. Uh, there's a pocket for the phone, pens, business cards. It is really neat. Then it comes with a shoulder strap so you can just use it as your carry-on oh. if you want to prepack everything. Oh, I want this. Yeah, this is really neat. It is uh, 60 bucks, okay. and it is very clever. <laughs> now, they call it premium Duracynth leather. Because now, it's it, not bad look. It's plastic, oh, in other words. It's plastic. Okay. Yes, yes, exactly. So <laughs> okay. I, I finally Just found the label. It's 100% polyurethane. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, okay. a.k.a. dura something something. Yeah, yeah. And well, so should people, I, what do you think? Should I order this? By the way, it you know, comes Leah, in, in uh, any color you want but black. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as long as it's yeah. black. You know, Leo, I think I think this is pretty neat to tell you the this truth. This would be useful, I think, for my... Oh, dag nabbit. Is it sold out? Why? Item is sold out and on back order. Ordering now will guarantee delivery within 8 to 12 weeks. What? <sighs> oh. oh. When are you going away? It says they're not going to be available to the holiday season. What holiday are they talking about? What? Credit card will be you'll, processed you'll see if upon... It's, uh, you know, just this type amazing case. Site. Maybe it's Maybe it's available elsewhere. It's uh, Cabo, C-A-B-E-A-U, The Evolution of Travel. Yeah, but I mean, just just type amazing case and see if... Maybe, like, maybe, maybe somebody else has it. I was just going to say, you know, like yeah. maybe Magellan's carry, <coughs> yeah. carries it and bought a bunch the of them -E uh, ahead amazing. of time. Because that looks like it would be something kind of useful for my trip to no, Norway. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm thinking of sending you my case, but I'm going to the hardware show May 1st. No, you need it, it. You need it. No, I was going to take it to the hardware uh, show. but Best new travel gear has got a lot of reviews, a lot of positive reviews. What's the deal with the Evolution Pillow? It's a memory foam traveling pillow. That looks good, too. I need yeah, both Yeah, but can of you these. put your iPad in it? <laughs> Not if you want it to be comfortable. No. Um, that's, how could this be? Maybe that special pleather is very limited in uh, production. Yeah, because, you know, polyurethane, where are you going to get that? Where are you going to get that? They're not making more polyurethane. No. You know, the sheet, the polyurethane sheep yeah. have been sheared within an inch of their life. <laughs> that's they, that's what's taken so long. They, they've got to grow the, the, the thane back. You know what? I wonder if it hasn't been shipped yet, and I'll tell you why. Because I had a friend who went out to the travel show and said to me, I found this really neat thing at the travel show, and I believe they introduced it there. So I'm wondering if their order oh. just got totally messed up and oh. when they got back after the travel show found that. They, it was not coming when All they right. thought. I'm going to look on eBay because somebody said there's one on eBay for $10. Wow. But what? Nah, it can't be the same one. Can't be. No. The Amazing Case, right? Yeah. Well, there's two different. Yeah, there's Amazing Case for 
a very small one for iPads only. Oh, that's probably and this the, is ama- yeah, yeah the amazing so, iPad case. That's what it probably yes, is. Yeah. yeah. No, I want the yeah. I, but because it looks like it's like a briefcase that then turns into something that hangs over the chair. A- absolutely, yeah. and it has a handle for just carrying it in your hand. Has and hidden inside is a shoulder strap for over your wow. shoulder. Hidden in there are the straps that it goes around the snack table. You bring the snack table down, wrap this around, then put the snack table back up, and that brings this thing straight up with the viewing pad right in front of you. It's very cleverly worked out. I want one, but they can't sell it. It says available <laughs> to order. Well, I'm confused because the website says available to order, but then when you when you say add it to cart, it says you can't get it. Sorry. You know, I'll try and find out Monday. I'll call them. Yeah. Would you? Tell them yeah. Leo sent you. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll see if I can't get them this spring one for you. Well, that's all right. I don't. Anyway, let's take uh, a break because coming up in just a little bit, uh, I've got a piece of crap to share. And uh, you've got a Warehouse Friday visit. Yes. yes. And we've got letters, too. In fact, we've got a bunch of letters i got to read. But first, let's talk a little bit about Vast conference.com do you know about this company have we mentioned this on the show before once time yep you do you do very notice. impressive yeah uh, yes. I, we just i just had a vast conference call the other day you know and it's kind of uh, i have to say I, I we every once in a while we'll meet with vendors and they'll say oh we're going to do a conference call and they and they go through one of those free conference calling sites and it's so embarrassing i mean it's just first of all it's kind of cheesy right but the other the other thing is it doesn't have anywhere near the features of the the call quality a vast, and I want to say, oh gosh, guys, you ought to get Vast Conference. First of all, fiber optic network, uh, fiber optic switches for the. V- I mean, so much better call quality than the the VoIP based uh, conference systems. I mean, really clear. Um, they have a management console that is superb. It allows you to record any call instantly as an MP3 file file right through the conference bridge. You don't need any special equipment. They've got detailed usage tracking, billing codes for. Uh, internal accounting, um, and what's a great customer service team. If you ever have any trouble, they they do above and beyond customer service that is second to none. But best of all, it's very affordable. You get two numbers when you sign up for your Vast account. In fact, you can do that right now free. The first number is a toll number, you know, regular toll number, two and a half cents a minute. But you also get an 800 number for six cents a minute. So, and then you can use them both on the same call. So you can give the client, you know, the guy you're pitching, for instance, on a sales call, an 800 number because it's classy. But then all the employees have to use the toll number to save money, that kind of thing. Sign up's fast and easy. There are no commitments, no contracts. You pay only for the calls you host. And if you use the offer code Gizwiz right now at vastconference.com, you can get a free account with two calls free, up to 300 minutes. So that would be like two calls times five callers, 30 minutes. That would be 300 minutes, something like that. So you get two conference calls free. If you're planning a conference call in the near future, i really love you to try Vast Conference. It's very, very easy to use, very good. I'd show you our dashboard. I did it once before. It has all the phone numbers in it. <laughs> it was kind of a mistake. So I won't be doing that, but I will say if you try it, let me know how you like it. I think you will vastconference.com and don't forget the offer code is gizwiz you don't have to make reservations you can have a conference call at the drop of a hat anytime it's it's it allows you to have i think up to 300 people let me see yeah up to 300 people in a single call it's got a live call manager that's superb you can record each track individually which i love so you heard each each person has their own recording uh just very powerful vast conference dot com use the offer code gizwiz for two calls free dick if you would do the honors i believe it's time for the turkey to gobble the turkey gobbles at midnight yes i'm going to do something unusual we're going to have two different letter things because we before i do my intro yes i'm going to read a letter oh this is confusing george wood yes george wood writes greetings from the uk Yes. Both the old and the new Turn the Table Turkey jingle were written and recorded by me. Oh, we gave somebody else credit. I'm sorry, He said, I'm sure Dan Ludes doesn't want to take the blame for my (laughs) less than stellar vocals. By the way, I've been in touch with Dan Ludes and Paul Minchel. All of whom do jingles for us, (laughs) yeah. 
Yeah, so right with the intention of collaborating on some music, and we'll oh, keep you posted. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? That's Remember, neat. you can keep uh, up to date on my songs at SoundCloud. So he's soundcloud.com slash George dash wood. Uh, thank you, George. And with that, with the credit given where credit is due, yes. now blame must be placed where blame <laughs> is due. Yes. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Leo Laporte's one and only Turn the Table Turkey! <laughs> Hello, Dickie D. Hello to our good friend, yes, little George. Okay, Wood. so what is it? Let's see. It's either got to be a phone, a phone case. Yes. Is it either one of those? Nope. No? It's something I'm going to take to the NAB show with me. Oh, a bulletproof vest. Yes. Oh, you know, that would be handy. Why didn't I oh, think yeah. of that? If your fans are going to be there, I would take it. Well, we use the word fan very loosely in that context. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. 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 No, I wanted to uh, I've wanted to do this for some time. You know, we we when we go to an event, we bring th hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of gear, we bring 20 people, and I hu I hunger for the old days, the good old days when we would go to an event and just be me, a man and his microphone out there in the wilderness con collecting goodies like little berries off a tiny shriveled up bush. It would be the hunter gatherer. <laughs> I don't think there are any berries at the NAB. <laughs> Give me the hunter-gatherer of broadcasters. Now I've got a whole entourage. Takes all the fun out of it. So I want to get back to my roots. So what I've been looking for, and you've heard me yes. talk about this, is a digital microphone that I can use to record to my iPhone or iPad. You know, Apple changed this 30-pin connector. It used to have an analog pass-through. So you could use anything that had analog output. You could pass it. But now it has to be digital. And it has to work with the 30-pin connector. So I've been looking and looking. Now, I've ordered, and I'm going to do a, a review of, I've already done it for Before You Buy, a mic that I love called the Apogee, $179. It's very nice, connects directly to the iPhone or the iPad. Great quality. I really love the app, but it's back-ordered, and I'm not going to get it till after NAB. So I, I said, oh, crud. And I went on Amazon, and I found something, and I was suspicious. Dick, you know me. I am not gullible. I do not fall for things like the Euro Club or the amazing... Uh, piano that folds up into the pocket of your shoes i do not fall for magnetic coats i don't i don't believe in those things so when i when they told so what me what do you believe in i believe in a good scotch and a and a fine dog by my side that's what i believe when they told me that i could yes. get a microphone that did all yeah. these things i talked about it was yeah. it was digital it was USB. It had great quality, and and it also had an XLR input, so it could be used as a standard microphone. I said, "You're joshing me." Surely you jest. For fifty-two dollars and thirty cents, never. I said, but yes, it's true. This is it. The Audio Technica. They make good mics, by the way. Uh, this is the ATR2100 USB mic. And just look at all the stuff you get. You get, it's a dynamic mic um, with an on-off switch. Looks kind of like, you know, the traditional handheld mic you see yeah. around. But look at the bottom and suddenly everything is different. First of all, it does have a standard professional XLR connector. So it can be used in situations like here in the studio where a traditional microphone would be used. It comes with its own mic cable. Uh, this looks like a three or wow. four foot cable. Yeah. That's part one. It also comes with a mic stand, a tripod, and a, an adapter that would go on any uh, mic stand. This is a traditional adapter. Uh, it also comes with a USB cable. Wait a minute, you might say. What is that? On the bottom what is here. That? What is that? On the bottom here is a USB connector. Uh, I should also point out there's a headphone jack so that you can monitor your recordings. Wow. 
and Holy there's God. a volume control on it. So all of this is on the bottom of the mic. The USB is a standard USB connector, so you can connect it to a computer very easily, Windows or Mac. But I also have the camera connection kit. This is the $30 part that you get for the iPhone and the iPad that turns USB into the 30-pin connector. Now, I tried it on the iPhone, and it did not work. However, I tried it on the iPad, and it worked great. In fact, this is going to the, the microphone light comes on when you connect it to the iPad. Oh, you wow. can use any software that would, you would use to record. I used uh, AudioBoo. In fact, if you want, I'll play you what I recorded. Uh, audio, you know about AudioBoo. In fact, this is probably how I'm going to uh, do some segments from the floor. AudioBoo is the software I used when I was in China uh, that lets me record onto my iPhone or iPad a, a, a little blog post, let's say, and then upload it. Uh, automatically uploads it to my uh, blog. So just before the show began, I did that. And if you go to leoville.com, you'll be able to listen directly to the recording I made. But let me play this. This is a little recording. Yeah, do it. So this is from this that this mic, the ATR2100, directly into my iPad using AudioBoo. I'll play this back and then upload it automatically. Hello, AudioBoo. To the and Internet. everybody in the AudioBoo land, Leo Laporte here. And I'm just testing another in a long series of microphones uh, designed to be used. Uh, well, it's a USB mic and a regular... X Doesn't that sound good? Yeah. Now, I also... You know what? I thought you would... I, uh, it's so funny. I didn't even tell the changeover. No. Now, this, yeah. is, this is a recording that I made directly on the Mac uh, from the USB port. Penelope Chumley raised her azure eyes from the crab scenario. She meandered among the congeries of her memoirs. There was the kinetic Algernon, a choleric artificer of icons and triptychs, who wanted to write a trilogy. For years she had stifled her risibilities with dour moods. Her asthma caused him to suff like a zephyr among the tamarack. So, um, I don't know what I just said. But anyway, that's... Uh, now, one thing I noticed, a little bit of popping, right? Um, but that's not to be that's not unexpected when you're working a microphone pretty close. So you do have to be careful. I would work the microphone probably not right up to close to your mouth and speak over it so that you avoid the popping. But I'm gonna bring this out in the field and use this as a field recording mic with my iPad. I mean, amazing. And what's re really cool is I can then take these recordings and upload them to the internet using a service like Audioboo or SoundCloud right away and share them with the world. So the lack of a pop filter is kind of a negative, but I have the same problem. You notice I have a very large pop filter on my PR40 here yeah. in the studio. But I do think that this sounds pretty much... Uh, it's as good as any, a $52 mic. It sounds as good as anything I've heard for that price. So um, the other, so if you want to hear directly uh, without the podcast in the way, uh, you can go to leoville.com, and there's a blog post from April 14th that has that audio uh, that I just played for you on it. Um I think this is a, a a great buy. Again, the uh, it's from Audio Technica, which Audio Technica makes some decent, inexpensive um, uh, microphones. This is the that, actually that was an Audio Technica mic on my uh, Riverside. That sounded piece. good. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you got a better mic. Yeah. Uh, which one was that? Because that sounded very good. It's a it's a tiny little lapel mic with a a very long cable and it has a, its own little built uh, inline amplifier. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. So this is the Audio Technica ATR twenty one hundred. They have a twelve hundred. Don't get confused. I did the twelve hundred seventeen dollars. This is not that. It's the twenty one hundred two one zero zero, and it says USB on it, and it comes with a USB cable. Although I'm going to replace the long USB cable it comes with with a retractable one because that'll be a little bit easier to get around with. Uh, a tripod, a microphone uh, holder. It's a standard microphone holder, the same kind that. Uh, you'll see with other mics that will work on any uh, any microphone stand. Uh, and um, let's see, what else does it come with? Oh, yeah, and the XLR cable so that you can use it. You know, I'll, watch this. I'm going to just take it and plug it directly into... I'm going to unplug my microphone here that I'm using, the Heil PR40, which is a $300 microphone. Unplug it. What Leo doesn't know is that... <laughs> and now I've plugged it back in. And uh, this is not the Heil PR40. This is a $52 Audio Technica microphone. And I think it sounds just as good. Just as good. Don't you think? 
Well, it's it's a touch a more little hollow. Thinner. Yeah, but, a little uh, thinner, but I mean, but not it's a lot. pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. no, it's amazing. I mean, it, very close. It's hard to tell the difference. Uh, you know, uh, good enough for fifty-two bucks. With a professional voice like yours, you really need the more expensive mic. Well, this microphone's solid gold, and I find that very nice. It's a little brighter, yes, absolutely. But given the given the cost, I think. Oh no, with a fifty-two bucks for mic. the kit. Yep. Uh, you find it on Amazon, uh, and I'm sure other places as well. The ATR 2100 USB. My turn the table. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, please pay no attention to that strange squeegee man down the street. We're on a mission. We've got to walk all the way down Broadway before sunset, hang a left at Vine, cut over to Hollywood, then up the Holy Grail, the 405, where we take a left at Amsterdam Street and 53rd, and there, looming above us, made of solid stone and moss, I'm not sure which is holding which together, it's Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, oh -ho! he takes them out to play. Oh -ho! In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Dickie D, the gadget guy. Leo, how you doing? Hey, Ricardo. <laughs> Como esta, senor? Leo, I'm doing a little something different for this gadget warehouse. Did you shave I your mustache? Because you, no, no, you sound no. like you shaved your mustache. No, no, it's just this fifty-seven dollar mic. I didn't go for the fifty-seven. <laughs> this is my seventeen dollar oh. mic. Oh, <laughs> you're using. No, a I thought we it. would talk about something that's not in the warehouse, but in honor of the passing of Jack Tremell this past oh, week. You no, know, we I have not. We have not even marked that, but that is a big oh, deal. That is a big deal because Jack. Tremel was 83. Did you ever meet him, Leo? I never met the man. Now, he, uh, uh, for a while, ran Commodore. He yes, bought Atari. The Commodore, he, yeah. Exactly. He, he uh, brought the first uh, home computer, the Commodore PET, to the marketplace, 1977, Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago. Back in those days, there was, it was twice yearly. There was a Chicago summer show and then the Vegas Winter Show. So he introduced the Commodore Pet, did very big in the educational field. Then when uh, the Apple II and Atari came along, uh, they went to color. The Pet was still uh, monochromatic. Uh, he came out with the VIC-20, and then the largest selling computer ever, the Commodore 64. Wow. And according to the New York Times, a bit, it, the Commodore 64 was the best-selling home computer of all time. Uh, the the VIC-20 was the first uh, mini computer that sold a million units. And then, as you said, did you know that that Time Warner originally owned Atari? Actually, Warner owned Atari, and they sold it off to to uh, Jack Tramell, who ran Atari for a while. Something else I didn't know, I was just wondering, oh, I wonder if anybody's selling any used uh, uh, VIC-20s on, on uh, uh, Commodore 64s on, on the web. The company has a modern version of it. A company has a modern a version. A company, of it. that's a better way to yes, put a, it. Yes. Yes, Somebody a bought company. the brand, yeah. Yes, yes. And you can... It's it, got it a PC out, in it, though, doesn't it? Yes. Or, yeah. Well, you you can it can run Windows. It, it will open up. It Anything will open up with want. like the with the blue text Windows. You How know, funny. With the, isn't that a riot? And then you can boot into what whatever you you put Anything in it. You can buy for. it with a Blu-ray player if you want. They yeah. they range from three hundred and forty-five dollars to thirteen hundred dollars. But and, and I met him twice. Just you know for minutes at, at CES and he always had a big cigar. He looked a little disheveled. It was sort of like you're talking to somebody who was selling computers that had fallen off the back of a truck. Right. But he was wildly successful and really uh, has earned a place 
in the history of computers. So for the letters today, I asked people on Facebook, just send me any quickie memories you have of Commodore. And uh, that'll sort of round out a little tribute to Jack Tremell. Oh, what a good idea. Yeah. He was quite the character, I got to say. Yeah, yeah, he was. As you are yourself. Is that the? Do you have a gadget, or is that just today? No, no, no. I was, uh, no, that was just to, to talk about. You had a moment, the, didn't you? You kind of you you, cho you choked up a little bit there, didn't you? you yeah, I did because yeah. I thought you know when my well, my friend had one of the Vic twenties. I thought you know I like this. I do, but do I like it more than my Atari? I also had like four thousand dollars into my Atari. You and I are Atari guys. That's exactly we are. right. Um, I had my first was the 400, then I got an 800, and I loved my Atari. That was a great computer. It was kind of, you know, more like a clone of the Apple than it was the Commodore. The, you're, you're lucky you didn't buy the Commodore. They were kind of yeah. junky, I'll be honest yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah. Well, you know what? I wish I could throw my Atari stuff out. You have it still? Leo, I have everything. I have Dick, the, I'll buy I it have... from you. Are you kidding what you, now I have the disk drive. Oh I have the 800 God. XL. I, oh, just I spent so much money I'll on that. I will. I'll pay all the shipping. Box I'll it up, and I will pay all the I shipping. I would love to send it to you. I'm going to do an Atari oh. show. Oh, okay. I'll say, yeah, perfect. I'll do it in black and white. Oh, that, that's... Yeah. I'll wear a skinny tie, a short nice. sleeve white shirt, black glasses with thick frames, and I'll just say, welcome, everybody. Well, and how everybody. is that different from how you're dressed now? <laughs> It's the Atari 400 show for people. First, we're going to type in. We're going to type in a listing now. This is a game that will uh, play tic tac toe on the 400. It's only three thousand lines of code. Don't make any mistakes now. Well, we'll well you know what, Leo? One of, one of the letters. Uh, I, I'm just going to jump ahead now because it fits right here. If you go to to meatfighter.com, meat, m e a t fighter.com, meat fighter. Dot, that's the name of it. <laughs> I know, meatfighter.com right, slash right. mad. Is he a vegetarian? I, I have no idea. <laughs> it was. Or does he fight with meat? I don't, it's very confusing. Uh, um, I don't know. Gavin Lent, L-E-N-D-T, says, speaking of the Commodore 64, oh, did you ever talk to Leo about the mad computer program from issue 258, October 1985? What? Featuring the it's mad computer program. Right, now, just, where, you'll know the age because because the picture of Alfred E. Newman says what me Goonie, <laughs> yes. And in that issue, Leo, yes, is the code to type into the Commodore sixty four, no. the Atari eight hundred. Yes, yeah, keep scrolling down. There's all the code. So you would type in all this code, and then after twenty minutes or however long it would take you to type in this code, when you scroll down, you'll see. What your printer would finally <laughs> print out. You turn and it program was, and money, enter into your computer the logo and Alfred E. Newman face. Here's the Commodore code. Wow. It go, it's long. Oh, my it's goodness. It's long because the, the, IBM, the IB, Look at the IBM code. You've got to spring for a color card for your unit or this program will not work So you've got, first of all, you've got uh, only a 15 lines of basic, but then you've got to enter in all the data. Oh my goodness! I've done this, by the way. This yeah, is crazy. I know. I never did. This I never is did. crazy. The, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Look at that! Look at that page! If you if you're just listening, it's like a page of it's just numbers. Code. I'll give. I'll read you line six hundred ninety. Data minus forty one minus nineteen minus forty one minus twenty seven forty four minus fourteen. 43, 20, minus 22, 13, minus 22, 14, 8, 46, 2, and 42. Now, by the way, there was a tiny typo in those numbers that I read to you. And if you get that wrong, <laughs> nothing will work. Right. right. Uh, yes, you typed this entire page oh, of code. Make sure you get it all right. Wait a minute. I'm not done. There's oh, more. Right. After the break, there's more code. Oh, it's like three pages of tiny type. Okay. Now, fortunately, there's a bunch of great Sergio Aragones oh, they had to uh, do something. marginalia around <laughs> right. it. Oh, my God. But when we finally get to the end, is this what it's going to print out? 
Yes. yes. All the way at the bottom. All the way it, at the bottom. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Here's the Apple more, there's version. More there's code. more. Oh, my God. Look at all the data statements. Okay. Now, we're going to run this in Apple Win, the Apple II emulator. Should I run this? Well, you can. It's, it's slow. Well, you can see what it is at the bottom. Either uh, one. I, okay. So, it, this, it's running. Oh, I got to make this it's full show, screen. This it, is what a computer looked like in these days, kids. Yeah. Holy camoly. I got to go full screen. It, I guess I can. Yeah. It's running the code while the computer's deciding, hmm, was that a what? 7 or what? That a 17? Working, working. Yes. Oh, and my then, God. It's going to print out. That's actually kind of cool. It, it right. prints out a picture. First, it's doing the listing. I guess that's what it had to do as it reads the code in. Now it's running. There it goes. There it goes. That's it's what all these slowly, data statements are doing is they're, they were actually uh, X, Y dots. And it's slowly making a black and white <laughs> Alfie Newman very slowly. slowly. Mm -mm. This is an outline. Mm -mm. This is mm -mm. not a photo of Alfie mm -mm. Newman. This is this a is black and white outline, outline. of Alfie. Wait a minute. He's gonna, he's, it and says then, mad. Wow. Oh, wow. Somebody wow, really, the logo wow. starts to look. Somebody really worked hard on this. Uh, and Holy then the logo cow. gets filled in. Again, just uh, an outline form. And then amazingly, it says, what me worry. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. That's a computer program. Yeah. Oh, here's a scalable vector graphics version. <laughs> now, I wonder where that now was. Now I just downloaded on the internet, and it's a, uh, wow, that is something. Yeah. And by the way, you can download the source code here. Uh, it's all on this website. You know what? That is really a great thing that he did. That is very, very cool. So this meet, is meet, meatfighter.com, the wiener warrior. And he's got quite <laughs> a few interesting uh, posts there. This, is, this yeah. guy's obviously very interesting. Wow. And, and, and it's uh, yeah, meatfighter.com and then a slash mad for the mad program. But he, as Leo said, he has a lot of other stuff yeah, up it's there. Worth going there. Yeah, meatfighter.com slash mad. Wow. Wow, Dick. That's really cool. That is really cool. Good. See, we learned a lot. I didn't do an actual gadget, but now I know I have a place to send my Atari stuff. I am We've... so excited. I am so oh, excited. Hey, well, I, ne excited. I only had an 800. I never got an XL. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. That has yeah. 48K of RAM, Dick. I don't know if you know that. Oh, uh, no. And I think I have, I might have sprung for an extra $100. RAM cartridge. module, <laughs> an extra twelve k. Yeah, memory was like oh, it was like a whole back of the crazy. computer. You, there were four slots, and they were it was a hundred dollars. What for eight k? Yeah, something it's like ridiculous. That. It's ridiculous. Yes, this is what you missed, kids. This is you what and your you Apple and you and your iPad. You think you're so you smart? You and your GUIs. We were out there. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. typing. Fingers to the bone. Can you imagine typing in all those data statements? And, and I and I did, and many others did too. And that's no, what you no, got. Because seriously, if if one digit is off, it's not going to run, right? Well, in that case, you probably just oh. have a dot in a weird spot. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wouldn't be too bad. I don't think. Um. <laughs> From our audience. And our letters are continuing with memories of Commodore. You'll yeah. love this too, Leo. Uh, Gary Nassa, N A S S A R, Jerry, G E R R Y, Nassa says, I received the Commodore 64 for Christmas 1986 and I loved it. I had the data cassette player to load games. It could take up to half an hour for a game to load, which was infuriating, but the anticipation was half the fun. The best game was Bubble Bobble. Uh, David Mackey says, I had damn near every Commodore computer ever marketed, with the exception of the original Pet, which my computer teacher in high school never stopped raving about. Uh, if you typed in programs from Compute Magazine, remember Compute Magazine? Oh, yeah. I uh, typed in a lot of those some of those, Some of the programs actually did work. I hooked up a modem and went online for the first time in 1985. Um, 
there were no machines matched the early Commodores. Gary Oppenheimer, CEO of Ample, ha uh, Ample Harvest. The Commodore PET was a real computer. I programmed them. The C64 were toys. Yes. Graphic and music were good, but they were not for the fledgling business market. Right. And then finally, John Little says, Dick, I learned more about programming and basic and machine language from my 60... My C64 than anything since. My 60, C64 monitor still works, and I like playing the sales cartridge every so often. It was years ahead of any other PC when it was in its heyday. So anyway, That's some it. fun memories of Commodore. And remember, you can still buy one. You, yeah, but it's fake. It's not. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Actually, it, it I actually I have a like... I have a joystick back here that Jerry Ellsworth gave me that was uh, sold as. In fact, you, you see these still. I, I got an Atari joystick too. They have a bunch of the games from the Commodore sixty four built into it. And she built a back door in. And if you do the right code, you can launch the you the you get the whole Commodore sixty four in a joystick really? that they sold for like twenty five ninety nine. Wow. Yeah. Here I'll show you. It's well, it's back in the cupboard there. One of these days we'll set it up and we'll do some uh, some stuff. Good. Uh, I guess we're out of time. I guess we are. Well, Dick, uh, just let me know I how think much it the was shipping well is spent. on. That. Oh well, That's my own. You're the judge of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to thank you for taking your Saturday afternoon off to be with us, both you and the people at home. Uh, and remind everybody that uh, we'll be back next Saturday with the weekly Daily Gizwiz. The week after, I'm going to be in Norway for the Nordic Light Festival, but we'll figure out. We'll have somebody uh, do the show with you, Dick. Yes. Uh, someone in the chat room says, anybody but John Dvorak. Yeah, no, he Mike. won't do it. I can promise you. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, if you want to go to the Play NAB the show. Yep. Yes, I'll tell you, tell, tell you about that in a second. But if you want to go to the NAB oh. show. Yes. If you go to twit.tv, we've got a coupon for free emission. Actually, just use the offer code TWIT. Uh, and then $100 off if you want to get the uh, the full conference package. Uh, if you use TWIT, 100 is the offer code. And we will be at NAB Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this coming week. So come by and say hi. And yes, if you want to play the What the Heck Is It contest, I can tell you exactly where to do that. It's gizwiz.biz. G-I-Z-W-I-Z -I -Z dot B-I-Z. That's where Dickie D lives. Uh, notes, show notes from uh, all the gadgets he talked about, but also click that what the heck is it button on the right and you'll get a chance to uh, figure out what these Smurf brass knuckles might be. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 12 mm -hmm. Mad Magazines autographed by Dickie D for the right answer, 24 for the best cute silly answers, and you get the Buxom Lady Liberty issue, the June, what is that, the June, May June issue. Of, yeah, yeah, May June issue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man, that's hot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and how many uh, national monuments can you say that? About? That's, you know, I kind of, the George Washington. Le Abraham uh, Lincoln, uh, that was, he was not a hottie. No, but the statue. No. But, the, but the Washington Memorial in Washington, D.C., that's pretty hot. Thank you, mm. Dickie D. Thank you, everybody. We do the show 2.30, thereabouts, Pacific time, 5.30 Eastern time. Uh, that would be 2130 UTC. Somebody said, Leo, you hate the flyover states. You figure it out. I don't know mountain and from mountain and central time. I don't know. It's something like that. Something like 430 mountain time, central time, something like that. At twit.tv. Do watch, though. I don't care where you are. You got to watch live. If you don't, you can always get a copy of audio or video directly from the horse's mouth or the Twit website if you don't have a horse handy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for yes, and you can hear the other half of the other end of the horse <laughs> yeah, when you yeah. go well, to the horse. Yeah, that's right. Dick, we'll you got your cup. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. I'll be here. <laughs> we have a good time. It's fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right. I got to do iPad today now. Oh, okay. Very good. Hey, chat room, I'm going to uh, get out of here fast so Leah can go to another show. Thanks, chat room. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. I'll see you next Saturday. See you Saturday. Okay, Leo, take care. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.